Hello everyone, nice to meet with you again. Today we will talk about Musa interview. So let's start. As you can see, I have gathered Musa interview questions in uh, under three headings. First one is a personal information in which you face with the personal questions as its name implies. Uh, so your name, your spelling of your name and etc. We will uh, look at it deeply. And the second one is application details in which you will talk about your application as its name implies and also um, you need to talk about your job description and job details, where you stay and so on like that, so on and so forth. And third one is future plans and clarification. Uh, I, I gave the heading this name because you need to give assurance to the person who is speaking with you. Okay, let's start with personal information. I have reviewed all the questions that I encountered in websites and also based on my observations and experiences, I designed uh, personal information questions. Okay, these are sample personal information questions. Don't forget that you can face more than these, this list. First one is, of course, what is your name? Very simple question, right? But uh, generally, we tend to say, my name is Pinar. Okay? My dot name dot is dot and your name. But if you want to make it a, a little cooler, make it a little cool. And if you also want to show your English proficiency level, it is very important also. You need to do it as well. You need to say my names. Okay, in Turkish we have a specific name for this. Uh, you need to make it longer. My names, Panar. Like names. Okay. Instead of saying this name is, divide them in pronunciation. Instead of doing that, please make this s sound longer, as if it is a plural form of name. My names, Panar, or my names, whatever. Okay. And the second one. Could you please spell your name? And the third one, they have the same meaning. How can I pronounce your name? Pronunciation is how it is sound, how it is told, okay? Spelling, telling the letters of your name. Uh, you will remember if you uh, watched my previous videos, spelling, we have talked about that. Pronounce, so my name's, my name's Pinar, P-I-N-A-R. If the person doesn't understand, please try to make it uh, the, the first letter of something. For example, P as in peach, I as in something, okay? It means the first letter of something. So the, the, these two questions are the same in the same meaning. If you face with these questions, please don't forget. And third one, uh, this is a little detail. Tell me about yourself. This is a very general question, right? If someone asks you this, uh, how would you answer? I want you to think on it for a minute. You need to summarize all of you. It is impossible, I know. But please try to make it uh, rela related to your profession and your purpose of your visit, okay? Tell me about yourself. For example, I'm going to USA uh, for Mm, to a training, piano training, okay? So I need to talk about my qualification of playing piano first. Don't forget that. So your name, your age, your marital status, and maybe your hobbies, uh, your free time activities, and so on and so forth, okay? You can also talk about your long and short term goals. Hobbies and goals, and don't forget that it could it should be related to your visit. Okay. And the other one, what do you like to do in your free time? Yes. Here, maybe you answer this question as well, but if you don't, you all you can also hear this question. What do you like to do in your free time? So, again, it should be related to your purpose of your visit. Purpose 
of your lizards. Okay? Another one. Have you ever traveled abroad? Or have you ever been to the USA or another country before? Or will it be your first time here? Now I want you to pay a special attention to the grammar. Okay? First one, as we have talked in grammar video, you may remember. Perfect tense. Right? Perfect tense again. And future tense. Okay? Uh, you need to answer the question as it is asked. If they ask you the question in perfect tense form, you will answer in perfect tense. But if you hear will, don't be afraid of will, okay? So you will say, no, it is my first time or it will be my first time. Simple present tense or future tense, both of them are possible, okay? So be honest. What is your mother and father's job? Now the family of questions comes question comes and what is your mother's father's job if they are don't forget that tell their profession but if they are retired don't forget that you need to talk about the job title retired is not enough on its own you need to say retired my mother is a retired teacher my father is a mechanic retired mechanical engineer for example okay so if they are retired don't forget to add the job title. This is very important as I saw in the sources. Okay. Um, do you have any brothers or sisters? You know, have got, has got structure. But, uh, you know, I have two sisters is better than saying I have got two sisters or brothers. Okay. So, got. You don't need to use it. It's something, uh, uh, it shows your level is a little above. No, I'm sorry, below. Okay. And do you have any relatives in USA? You can easily understand that they try to understand if you have uh, someone that you know in there. So try to understand your uh, prioritizing your criteria, okay? And some extra questions. Uh, I, I give extra name, but it is possible that you can face these questions. The first one, do you want to visit any cities in USA? And the second one has the same meaning, as you can see the equal symbol here. What are you, you excited to see in USA? It is again about your preferences, about your priorities there. So you maybe you are going there to work, working visit, working uh, reason, but uh, maybe you're excited to see somewhere and you can easily say it okay so uh, yes these are the personal in uh, information questions in USA interview that you can see or you can face they uh, don't forget that they are just the samples and be ready for each questions if you have any questions please let me know in the second part we will talk about the application details and see you till we meet again Thank <music> you.